tune in. Thank you for tuning in to the New Lake Grove Sunday morning service. We are located at 23905 Highway 70 East in Heck, Arkansas, where our pastor is the Reverend Calvin Nance. We hope that you will be blessed by this service. God loves you and so do we.
for her. Yeah, she rich. Force her hands to the knees. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She makes herself covering her tapestry. Her clothes is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes it fine linen and sell it there, and delivers girls to the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and her tongue is law of kindness. She looks well to the ways of her household, eating not the bread of your idleness. <coughs> her children arise up and are called blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Married daughters have done virtuously. Many daughters have done virtuously, I'm sorry, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. All right, all right. Give her of the fruit of her hand, and let her own works praise her in the gates. I read you Proverbs 31st chapter 20, 31st verse, and now this is the reader here in the rules of his holy word. I am on the battlefield of my Thank you for this hour. 
this moment, this opportunity. Thank you for that people, that love one, that love for others. This I ask our son Jesus name. We pray to you, oh Lord. Thank you for everything that you have for us. Give us peace. Amen. Amen. Amen.
announcements. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. We are praying for the sick and shut in and for those who desire prayer for prayers to keep faith on obstacles. This morning, our prayer list consists of Sister Misty Williams, Sister Renee Belcher, Sister LaCambria Hack, Sister Wanda Bobo, Sister Alma Jean, Brother and Sister Paolo, Sister Jay Louise, Sister Dee Dee, Sister Susan, and Martha Bradshaw, Sister Alberta Weatherspoon, Sister Beyonce Hicks, Justin and Baby Jeremiah, Sister Callaway, Sister Rita Skate, Sister Maya Williams, Brother Benny Roos, Brother Ronnie Whitaker, Brother Charles Lee and Keisha Lee, Curtis Brownlee and family, Brother Paul Hayden, Brother Jamarcus Carnell, Brother James Cryer, the military, our New Lake Grove Church family, yes. and we're glad to see Sister Shannon Henderson back today. Yeah.
God is good. Amen. I say, I know what I'm saying. God is good. Amen. 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 Who do want to serve a God? We're going to ask, if you don't mind, Dr. Lathan. Amen. 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 We ask Reverend Aaron to come and just do an offering prayer for us this morning.
to all the young men, young people, hey amen, those who are graduating from high school, getting ready to go off to college, those who graduated from college, getting ready to find their employment, hey amen, and we ask God grace and mercy be with you, that you will seek him, hey amen, which you would have me to do, that you will trust him, that he will lead and guide you, that he'll direct your path. You got to trust him, amen. Yeah. And you got to tell the Lord, not my will, but thy will be yeah. done. Yeah. Work through me and in me. Mm -hmm. Amen. I was at the, uh, and I'm going to say this, I was at the uh, clinic, the documentary, just getting some blood work done, amen. Everything is good. Amen. And I went yeah. to the pharmacist, and three young ladies were back there. This just, just, just touched my little heart. And they would say, they said, uh, they made this statement, and they said, uh, we are looking for some nice young men, but we can't find any. And that stood out to me, and I said, Lord, Jesus, they, they was in their 20s, but they working on their degrees and working in the pharmacy, but they said, we are looking for some nice young men. He said, all they about is foolishness. That's what they said. And I thought about my young guys at the church. Yeah. <laughs> I, I said, next time I'm going to invite all y'all to the Grove. But we got some nice young men over here. We teaching them how to be young men. Amen, amen, amen. They growing up, amen. So, so I thought about that. I just want to say that boys and young ladies are looking for a nice young men. Amen. Mature, amen. That love the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. So I thought about next time I go back, I'm going to invite them to the Give Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs> it's such a need, amen. The devil out to kill, to steal, and to destroy our young men before they even get started, amen. And I'm praying for them, amen. That God will put a hedge around them, amen. Amen. This time we're going to ask our deacons to come, amen. We ask to come to the part of the service that we all can participate in, amen. Our tithes and offering, amen. And I thank God every day that you've been faithful with your giving, amen. Amen. And, and we have to sell chickens and fish plates and dinner plates and all that stuff just to keep the lights on. Amen, Jesus. That's of his goodness. Amen. As we ask you to give at this time, amen, and give us some soft music. Amen. After that, Deacon, I will pray over the offering. I do want to, at this time, to acknowledge all our mothers in the house. Amen. Ask you to stand at this time. And anybody got a presentation, they may give it at this time. I think somebody wants to. Some of the members want to, some of the young men want to get up, the young ladies want to get up and thank their mother for all they got. Marquis. Stand up. <laughs> now, we, 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 be mindful, hold on, be mindful. You can't, you can't take the whole service, but you do have a few minutes, amen. You can't have the whole service, but you can have a few minutes, amen. And if I take the mic, then. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Love you for being there for me and buying everything I need. Amen. In the back, I walked today. You got it. I love her so much. I'm so grateful for her, for everything she does for me and my siblings. She always showed the show up for us. Amen. 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 How we we doing in school? So I love you. All right. Anybody else? Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Love you. Oh, okay. 
I'm walking. In that workout. Mm -hmm. This is so. to Miss Make It Happen. <laughs> always ripping and running for everybody, but she never misses a beat for any of her kids or grandkids. But happy Mother's Day, Mama. We love you. Amen, 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 amen. I've already gave the motherboard. Uh, this goes to Sister Lucy Whitaker. I gave one to Miss Dolly, Miss Henderson, and Sister Lucy. Let's make it the DJ got the roses for every mother week. We got enough for We're going to give 12. We got 12 roses. So we're going to start with the first lady. Yeah. Come on. We're going to start with first lady. Other mothers. Well, if the young ones don't get it, don't worry. We're thinking about it. Come on, man. <laughs> we salute all our mothers. Amen. On today. Amen. 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 The is consists of lots of mothers. Yeah. So this is happy, happy Mother's Day. We're going to get into the uh, uh, come on. older ladies. Uh, Sister David. Amen. Right, I'm thinking of more line. Ain't no special order. Uh, Praise <laughs> the Next, uh, Miss B. Get to Miss Bernie Robs. Right there, right in front of you. Got got Miss B. There you go. And, um, this, oh, this, 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 Yes, 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 this is the gift. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Now, that doesn't mean that, that doesn't take it from anybody. We just had 12. So, everybody else got one too in my heart. Miss <laughs> Dora Lee, she got one. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for doing that. But, Miss DJ.
We're going to ask Dr. Layton to introduce our speaker for this morning, amen, I, and then we'll go on with the following service. He's going to come introduce the speaker for this morning, the choir will come and sing, and then she will be <laughs> speak, amen. At this time, Dr. Layton, come. Church, amen. amen. Church, amen again. To the call of the staff, to all the mothers, to all the mothers that I have, to say happy Mother's Day to all of them, all the wife and all the things. And you deserve being what you be a mother. Amen. But the speaker, who I introduce, we go back a long way. I shared that she don't mind me sharing this. I was trying to figure out in high school, the uh, out of that. I'm like, how did mama find out that I'm cut up at school? <laughs> and I'm like, well, I found out at least. <laughs> so one Sunday she came out of the house. I didn't say, how you doing? I said, stay out of my business. <laughs> 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 Ate a minute meals at her mom's house. And, and, and well, like I said, she was a sister long time ago. Yeah, I, I yeah, when she was just sharing her baby and she had a birthday, so <laughs> she's 61. Ain't that so? <laughs> but no, I will say this about, about Lisa. When I say her sister, beautiful lady, don't say much, but she really supports my brother. She make him look better. <laughs> she got little sis he got. <laughs> That's a good thing for a woman that says, sister, man, sometimes we can be a fruit woman. But nevertheless, she's educated. She's determined. And she knows how to take care of business. So I used to do the song of none other than Miss Lisa Jenkins. <laughs>
Somebody's been teaching. Yeah. For the children that stood and gave honor to their parents. Yeah. 
Mm. Somebody's been teaching. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Well done. Yeah, yeah. 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 Then I brought my rose. Ennis didn't know. I was going a different direction, but I'm going to switch it up a little bit. And then I'll go back to what I originally had thought. But I thought about this rose when it was given to me, and I said, oh, I'm not seasoned. And then I said, oh, take it back. I appreciate it. I appreciate being given such a rose. Mm -hmm. For in all its beauty, it has some thorns. And when I think about mom, I can talk about her better than I can anybody. Because she was mom. All right. I think about her beauty of telling the truth about God and giving him to me. When I look at it, I see the petals. And when I go down, I see the bruises in her life, the thorns. All right, all right. But there's more petals than thorns. All right. All right. Which still makes this a good thing. Parents are not perfect. I see Kiana back there. I, I, I would call myself blessed and favored by God. Not only did my daughter go off to college, obtain her master's, but she came back to work with her parents. Amen. And it's not an easy task, believe it. But I tell her, due season will come. Amen. Due season will come. I remember my mom, she wasn't an eloquent speaker, but she was a truthful speaker. And I remember one day she said, Lisa, and I am who I am, and she knew who I was. <laughs> And she said, Lisa, she said, you may not be paying attention, but I want to tell you something. She said, get to know it for yourself. That's right. She That's said, right. one day, you're going to meet me, and I'll be long gone. And when those days came, I remembered who he was. Mm -hmm. Get to know him right. for yourself. Right. Children, know him for yourself. That's That's right. Right. That's right. Know him for yourself. Yeah. Cherish your parents. Not only your mother, but your father. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But get to know him for yourself. That's right. It's nothing like knowing him. When I heard Sister Shannon get up and speak of her testimony, you are another living truth of his truth. Proof of his truth. Yeah. Only those that stand and tell what he has done and his greatness can he be seen. Amen. And you are a mother. You need to show your children that he is real. He is real. And I'll say it for myself. When I was going through, I was grateful that there were seasoned peoples that were in my children's lives that taught them to pray, as well as myself. I told them to pray, but they had aunts that were influencers on their lives. A grandmother, grandmothers, I'm not going to say just one, but grandmothers grandfathers, aunties, your life, women, influences children. More so than the man. They look at you. You're the protector. You're the nourisher. When they fall, guess who they call? They look for mom. Not for dad. But for mom. So again, your calling is very high.
with that today. Amen. Paint a beautiful picture. One that when you look back on it years later, you see the beauty. And any imperfections, ask the Creator. As you continue to pray, He'll clean any blemishes on that canvas. Amen. Yes, He will. Your own husband, 
that the word of God be not blasphemy. Mm -hmm. You need to be discreet. And if what does discreet mean to be careful? You need to be chaste, so it means to be pure. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Keepers of your own home. Proverbs 31. She rise up early in the morning. Working it out. Her husband is known in the gate to be blessed because she take care of her home. And I and I know, and I was reading this passage of scriptures, 2 Timothy chapter 5, verse 1 to 5, and it kept saying, Love your husband. Love your husband. Love your children. That's the priority of a godly mother. And she will fight for her children, for her family. So how to live a godly, be a godly mother and ungodly work? Put God first. Put God second. Put God third. Put him fourth. Put him fifth. Put him in everything you do. But God wants you to live godly. In an ungodly world. And let your light so shine that men may see your good work, works and glorify the Father with your heaven. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Lisa. For that rose. It's got petals, petals. It also got thorns. Amen. In other words, life ain't gonna always be easy. But a godly mother. Work through it all. Amen. That's what they want to stay. How many enjoyed the word on today? Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. At this time, we want to open the doors of the church. Amen. Amen. We're going to open the doors of the church. Also, when you walk out the church, right above the, the church, outside the front, in the front, there's a banner. Amen. You can. And happy Mother's Day, amen, to all the mothers. You might want to take a picture, amen. Stand underneath of it, amen. It's beautiful. The doors of the church is open. You may come, you may come, you may come, you may come, you may come. By letter. The Christian experience, I can't pay for baptism. Thank you, Sister Lisa. Miss Jenkins.
So if your mama, if you're here and your mom is here, you want to go to your mama right now. Come on, you're going home.